and so, out into sunshine and bells and wild delight, as a palpable wave of affection and pride wells out from the crowd. Suddenly, that long train makes the state landau look remarkably full. those who say that the monarchy has no relevance to modern British life. Obviously. Who can doubt the love and happiness that this couple so obviously feel and share? So strong that for one inspiring day a whole nation can forget its trouble. The bridal carriage draws up at the grand entrance to Buckingham Palace on as grand and happy a day as summer sun looked down on. Lady Sarah straightens out a few last problems with that train. And this is what they're waiting for. An appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, which has seen so many royal and national occasions in the past. receives a roar of approval from the crowd, who call the couple back and back again onto the balcony. A thoroughly unofficial addition to the 1902 state landau, balloons decorated with the Prince of Wales feathers and a notice proclaiming, just married, in case anyone didn't know. It seems that princes of the blood or not, younger brothers are much the same everywhere. Queen Victoria may not have been amused, but everyone else was. It's obvious, even trite, to describe this tale of the beautiful maid who marries the handsome prince as a fairy story. It's certainly sentimental to do so, but what's wrong with that? All the best fairy stories end with the words, and they all lived happily ever after. May we pray that this fairy story is no exception. Thank you.